What's up guys, what's up guys, and welcome back to The Crazy Brick. Today on The Crazy Brick, we get episode number two of building D-Day in Lego. With that guys, let's get right into the segment here. All right, so I was gonna do a time lapse, but I did. I ended up not doing one. So what we got here is part of the part of D-Day here. So I started, I uh, set that up for a thumbnail um, for the video, um, as you noticed thumbnail right there um yeah so something a lot of builders do though it, and that's kind of why i want to do it this way is most builders hold on stack their water when they do like something like that three high so i thought you know what i'm gonna stack it six high so the water right here is gonna be six high around so i was just slowly just throughout the week just stacking water six high so then it's gonna be a normal beach that looks like a ton of sand right there right but it's gonna be normal because the water's gonna come up to here so it's only gonna be like four up and it's just gonna be a it's, it's gonna be massive just say um, yeah it's gonna it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be th obviously three base plates um, I moved it actually from that table right there um, yeah this table I can use for other mocks and stuff um, that I'll be building with other pieces um, YT Brick builds its competitions. So I'm going to have to enter that. Um, obviously, this is not going to get entered because it won't be done by then. So, yeah. I've got a whole cup of rock pieces right here. Um, yeah, just random rock pieces. I have some more in another bin somewhere. I don't know. More Bricklink halls should be on the way. So, yeah. But with that, let's get right into the segment. So, every, I think, 16 studs, we're going to go up another stud. So when we finally get to the top by the mountain, it's going to be very high. It's going to be like this high, the sand probably, because it's just going to be slowly, because it's a big beach, Omaha, because they attack during um, low tide, or during both of them, Omaha and Utah. I don't know which one we're doing yet, so please vote. Please vote up there. It's going to be right up there. Please vote which one we should be doing. Um, be sure to vote for that as well as, um, yeah. But it's going to be like, because they attack during um, low tide, because if they attack during high tide, they were going to run into all the obstacles that were set up and stuff. Like, that, their wooden ones that had mines attached to them. I forget what they're called. I'm going to have to look up that name. Sea Bricks, correct me. I know you know what that is. Shout out to Sea Bricks. You know. um, yeah, he, he, he'll definitely correct me down below. <laughs> but yeah, with that, um, let's go get into the segment or get into the beach pier. So it's going to be up one high every 16, I said, right? I already said that. Um, so right there, I started doing that. And then what I'm trying to... I have a lot of the 6x6 six six plates. Um, got that whole bin. Just tan and stuff. So the 6x6 six six plates um, are covering, like, all around. And then and then on top of that, we'll use 1x1s one one in tan, 1x2s in tan. I think I have more 1x2s and 1x1s coming. I don't know. But I think I have like 200, maybe 100 more of those, 100 more of those coming. Just just as like a little reassurance, because I think I already used like 100 of those probably. Um, probably, but I already had a couple hundred, you know. But there's probably going to be like 3,000 of these on the mock. The, the mock's probably going to have close to 5,000 pieces. Um, yeah, but then what I'm doing here, down here, is I have to stack it all one platform high above the base plate. So that way, it also just makes it more sturdy, as well as I have to do that because as I go up a stud, See, I'm using um, not just all bricks in there. I'm also using these pieces um, to level it off. So now, then I go back up to bricks here. But I'm gonna might pick up some more uh, six, two by six bricks, um, like the big those ones, two wide, two by six, two wide bricks. Those are always helpful. I already, I think I already used all my. I had like 50. I think I already used all 50 on it. But yeah. So you guys can, it's gonna be all, it's gonna be huge. You guys can get a perspective. It's gonna be, um, it's gonna be massive. The Higgins boat is gonna also make it awesome. I think that <laughs> just that awesome gonna make it awesome. You know, yeah. <laughs> the Higgins boat's gonna make it, make it like all come together better and stuff. So there's a lot of junk just laying on the mock. Cause I was using these pieces from underneath there to give it like, so instead of just wasting all those, there's like 500 one by twos on that, as well as like. To 100 one by fours. There's like 700 pieces, probably like a thousand pieces, all in just the dark tan area, and probably more, probably like a thousand two hundred just in the dark tan area right there. 
Um, here, obviously, it's going to get less and less because I got the 6x6 plates, which are helping a lot. I already had the 8x8 plates, but I didn't want to do 8x8s because then you can't detail. You can still detail it. I was just messing around with some other detail stuff um, on that one. You can still use them like I'm using it right one right there and one underneath there. But I think it's better just to stick with the 6x6 plates because I have 40 of them. Um, I already had 10 and then I ordered another 30 as you guys know. I think I might order another 30 because they're gonna I'm gonna need them to go up to the beach because I think it's gonna end like up here. It's my plan says I might make the mountain a teeny bit bigger. But yeah guys, with that, that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up. So let's go right into the outro. Alright guys. It's looking awesome. Thanks thanks to you guys I'm out there. Please give me your opinions down in the comments below if I should change anything. Um any ideas on how many mini figs I should have on here. Um, yeah, please leave in the comments below. Um, any opinions, and please vote up in the poll. I think, yeah, it's this corner. Vote up there, Omaha or Utah. Um, this is the final decision, final decision right here um, in this one. So final decision up there, whatever one it is, doesn't matter. They, but yeah, that's what it's gonna be called. <laughs> then we can change up some things. Um, I think the beach turned out, the beach right here turned out amazing. I think it's looking, it's it's looking good. I know like the, the dark, the dark tan, there looks like there's a ton of it. When I put the water in, that's going to be like the last part. It's going to look a lot better. It's going to be evened out and it's going to be very deep water. So you can just put the minifig in and it's already up to its waist. So that's what, that was my plan. Because most people don't do that. Obviously this is going to be a ton of water then, six by um, six high, but I have water on the way. Um. Yeah, or one by one studs on the way. In clear, I already have some in uh, light in the clear color. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, guys, that's about it. That's wrapping up D-Day. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you are new, leave a big like, and we'll see you next time here on The Crazy Brick. <laughs>